yeah good morning students in this video i will be discussing on one of the important error detection technique known as internet checksum so in the previous videos i explained about crc cyclic redundancy check one of the error detection technique so you can watch my uh, previous video before watching this uh, internet checksum uh, the link is available in the description box so in this video i will try to discuss about an internet checksum so the internet checksum normally uses a 16 bit checksum so these are all the various steps that is followed at the sender side and at the receiver side so i will try to explain all the steps by taking one suitable example so however first i will tell the steps then i will demonstrate the same uh, by taking one example so the first step at the sender side is the whole message will be divided into 16 bit word because normally the internet checksum will support the 16 bit word that you can send at a single stretch okay the second step is the value of the checksum word is normally set to zero before calculating the checksum the word is set to zero then the third step all words including the checksum means all the data including the checksum are added using the once complement addition so the sum is whatever the sum we got now is complemented and it becomes the checksum so the checksum is sent with the data so this is the various steps we are following at the sender side so at the receiver side what happens the message and the checksum whatever the checksum that we have calculated here and also the message which we are divided in 16 bit word both we are sending at the receiver side so the message including the checksum is divided into 16 bit word what we have done in the sender side same thing we have to divide at the receiver side then all words everything including the checksum are added with once complement addition so whatever the sum we got we are complemented and becomes the new checksum so if the value of the new checksum that we have calculated if it all zero all zeros then we can say there is no error introduced so the message is accepted if you get other than zero if any other number then we are going to reject it uh, thinking that there is some error has been happened so we will try to explain Uh, i will try to explain all these uh, steps by taking one example so this is what uh, the example i am taking so i am just calculating all the checksum and also the entire processor by taking the uh, computer network author name that is forazen so the same data i am sending this is what the message i am sending now so this is the message which i am sending as forazen so the first step is the message is divided into 16 bit words okay so i will just erase all this one second okay so so the first step is what i told the message is divided into 16 bit word so this is the message forozen that is f o r o this is a close bracket u z a n forozen so each one is of ascii value the ascii value for f is 4 6 so we need to represent for four bits we need and similarly for six we need four bits similarly o is nothing but 6 f ascii value i am talking about so to represent six we need again four bits and to represent f again we need four bits total we are using 16 bits that's how uh, we have divided the message into four bit word means a 16 bit word so that is what our first step okay the message is divided into 16 bit word so in that way two characters that is f o is taken as 16 bits f is nothing but 4 6 and o is nothing but 6 f similarly the next two characters that is r o and here forozen is there na uh, this one f o is over now i am taking r o for r the ascii value is 7 2 and for o it is 6 f and similar u z for u the ascii value is 7 5 and for z it is 7 a and for a n a is 6 1 
and 61 that's what and n is 6e so these are all the ascii values so which is our next step the value of the checksum word is set to zero so here i done that the value is set all zeros only okay next the third step is all words including the checksum are added using ones complement addition so you need to add it now what is f f is nothing but uh, in uh, uh, hexadecimal value it is at but 15 so this is nothing but again f 15 plus 15 30 30 plus a is 10 30 plus 10 is 40 and e is nothing but uh, 14 so 40 plus 14 is 54 so 54 you should divide with 16 since we are using hexadecimal value uh, 16 3 is a okay 16 3 is a 48 and what is the remainder 48 14 50 51 52 53 54 6 so it is nothing but 3 and 6 that's what here i have borrowed 3 and down i have written as 6 so similarly you can do for all the other things like 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 3 15 uh, 15 plus 7 22 22 plus 6 28 again 28 you divide with 16 so you will get 16 ones are 16 okay and then uh, 12 and 13 will remain okay okay whatever it may be uh, so 1 and 13 13, 3, 13 is at the but sorry 2 12 16 ones are 16 16 plus 12 is 28 so here 1 is there here 12 is nothing but in hexadecimal value we can represent as a is 10 b c c is nothing but 12 so it is at the but 1 c so you can write here is 1 and here is c so like that you can do for this also you will get a, a 0 f and after doing that you will get 1 and 8 so the moment when you get 1 and 8, so this part I am talking about, when you add all this, you will get 18, 7, 7, 14, plus 4, uh, 18, 18 plus uh, uh, 6, 24, 24 if you divide with uh, 16, 16 minus 16 and 8 is reminder, so 1, 8 you will get, yes or no, so 1 I am taking here and 8 I am written here, so this 1 you need to add here, at the first most significant bit. So 8 F C6 will get and 1 I am adding here. Then this is partial sum. You add this. 6 plus 1 is 7. C, F and 8. So this is not but the sum. So this is what you have calculated. The sum is. So now you got the sum. Then the sum what you got is complemented and becomes the check sum. So whatever the value you got here. 8 F C7 sum. You need to complement it. It's just to make zeros to ones, ones to zeros. Then you will get checksum. For example, I will take this 7. 7 in uh, 4 bits, what you can write? That is nothing but 0, 1, 1, 1. That is nothing but 7. So you just make it as complement. That is 1, 0, 0, 0. How much you will get? 0, 1, 2, 3. 2 power 3 is 8. So 8 I am taking here. Similarly, C you represent in 4 bits. Complement it, you will get the 3. F, F is nothing but all ones, 1, 1, 1, 1, 15. And if you complement all zeros only, will get. So that's what I have taken it as 0. And similarly, for this you complement, you will get 7. So 7, 0, 3, 8 is nothing but your checksum. That's what the last step we have told. The checksum, the sum is complemented and becomes the checksum. So the checksum is sent to the, with the data. So this checksum, what we got here, we are sending along with the original data. That's what we have sent at the receiver side. Receiver side, what I have done? This is what your original information for us done. And then along with that, I have added whatever the zeros I have now, I have appended with this checksum. That's what we got 7068. So that is what your first step for the receiver side. The message is divided into 16 bit word. Yeah, same thing I have done here. The entire message again divided into 16 bit word. Okay, till here. Okay. Next, third step. All words are added using one's complement addition. Same thing what you have done at the sender side, you add at the receiver side also. Same thing you apply. You will get F, 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 E, and one is borrow here. That one I am adding here. Then I will get E plus one. E is nothing but 14. 14 plus one is nothing but 15. Nothing but 1, 1, 1, 1. Nothing but your F. F is nothing but 4 bits 15. F, F, F. So that's what we got sum. So that's what. Uh, the sum is complemented and becomes the new checksum. So what the sum you got is FFFF. I am just complementing it. 
So f is nothing but one 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 one. If you complement with all zeros, that's what you will get single zero. Similarly, for this f again you will zero zero zero. That is nothing but your new checksum. So if the value of the checksum is zero, the message is accepted. Otherwise, it is rejected. So since the data is not corrupted, see here the same data we have received. So we got all zeros. That means the sum is zero. So then we will accept that there is no error and the uh, data is accepted. So if any one bit is changed, what I am trying to tell instead of f, if you receive here like a, then surely will not get uh, the checksum as zeros. It may get some other value. Then you can say uh, there is some error and the data is rejected. So in this way, uh, the internet checksum will help us to uh, identify if any error is occurred at the Uh, receiver side so this helps us to recognize uh, any data is lost or not so hope so you enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching uh, subscribe my youtube channel uh, for more videos bye